Is that so? Yeah, the dead don't drink and chase women must be his thing on that subject. That Indian fought like hell. I guess you did too. Charlie figured out how it must have been. The Indian had to kill me for coming on the burial place and maybe it'd been me too that killed his friend, cut his friend's head off so his friend wouldn't have eyes to see the sunset all those years. He'd be lying there dead. So he had to kill me for that too. And he couldn't before he laid hands on me or the killing wouldn't be honorable. We fought like fucking hell, I'll tell you that much. And I never once had the upper hand. It just happened out the way it happened out. He was just trying to live, <laughs> same as me, and do honor to his friend, make some fucking sense out of things, and we wind up that way, and I wind up after beating him till I couldn't recognize his face. For Christ's sake. That Indian saved Jack McCall's life, I'll tell you that fucking much. Not for long. Swear engine? You owe me five dollars. If you ass fucked, you owe me seven. No. You didn't ass fuck it? I'm not paying you. It wasn't to do with you, it wasn't business. Trixie! Don't think I don't understand. Huh? I mean, what can any one of us ever really fucking hope for, huh? Except for a moment here and there with. A person who doesn't want to rob, steal, or murder us. At night, it may hap sun up. One person against the fucking wall, the other may hap on the fucking bed, trusted each other enough to tell half the fucking truth. Everybody needs that. It becomes precious to them. They don't want to see it fucked with. I won't pay. You pay. But she pays. <laughs> 